Earthquakes of the future might destroy our metropolises. New mountains the size of skyscrapers will rise. Mega glaciers will find their rightful place on present-day Earth. One day, a comet will appear in the skies and we'll know this is the beginning of the end, with new lava emerging with the potential to turn everything to ash. Planet Earth has a cycle of catastrophic events whose aftermath could set us back millions of years, according to scientists, and they collide, meaning the extinction of humankind. But before we move on, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Supercontinental Cycle 400 to 450 million years When we talk of terrestrial cycles, they are under our noses. In the 16th century, a cartographer of Flemish origin, Abraham Ortelius, created the world-famous Atlas. This would define the world and its boundaries. In the map, Abraham made a quick note stating that a closer look at the coastline showed clearly that the Americas were forcefully broken apart from Europe and Africa by earthquakes and floods. He suggested that an event as big as the biblical flood was the only thing possible to cause such a separation. Three centuries later, Alfred Wegener, a German geologist, built on Abraham's hypothesis and suggested the continental drift theory. In the past, the continents were together to form the supercontinental Pangaea, according to this theory, and after the Earth's rotation, they split. It was this drift caused by a major catastrophe that separated the continents. He went further to note that it's the same process that in the future could rejoin the continents back together in an event called the Pangaea Proxima. Here is a good mental image. Imagine a city like New York swept away and the area that used to be Times Square becoming a new mountain range. This catastrophic cycle, as per Wegener, will be over in two million years since the continents are moving at a speed of two and a half centimeters each year. A hundred times slower, the Statue of Liberty would have fallen way back in 1986, a century after its opening. Cycle of Earthquakes Back in 1906, history has it that tremors nearly destroyed San Francisco and killed up to 3,000 people. Half a century later, the earthquake hit again and it hit California, one of the shortest earthquake cycles on the planet. In California, when the Pacific plate is pressed onto the North American plate, the pressure is so immense that it has to be released every 30 to 50 years. Most recently, this happened in 2004, and it's only safe to say this will happen again about 20 years from now. This seismic activity has been happening for some time now, yet our little understanding makes it hard for us to be ready. That said, earthquakes can be pretty unpredictable, despite the set cycles. Cycles of the Apocalypse from the Sun a few intelligent scientists put across that electromagnetic influence of the sun is at times so extreme it charges the Earth's core from the inside, and it's what is on the outside that causes the catastrophic earthquakes. The sun itself has a special cycle on the apocalypse, and it's not so easy to understand it. In 1826, Heinrich Schwab, an amateur astronomer, was hell-bent on finding the mythical planet that somewhere between Mercury and Saturn. He planned to catch the very moment when the celestial body came in front of the solar disk, his first step was to sketch the moments every day for about 15 years. He failed to find the hidden planet, better known as Vulcan, and discovered several sunspots that had grown and would then decrease slowly over 10 years. Another discovery that shocked one Swiss astronomer, Rudolf Wolf. Wolf further collected all manner of observational data and estimated that the solar cycles most likely lasted 11 years. Around the mid-19th century, neither Wolf nor other scientists could figure out the sunspots. On 1st of September 1859, the British astronomer Richard Carrington pointed his telescope to the skies, as was his habit, and two giant sunspots appeared much larger than the Earth. They suddenly released immense light, as would a volcano. A great distance away from the Earth, he still felt the following day a shockwave from the sun. What happened was a lighting up of the sky from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. Then a great solar storm pounded dust and was called the Carrington Event. In 1921, another solar storm was responsible for shutting down phone coverage all over the world. In 1972, a geomagnetic storm blew out in the U.S. Navy mines off the coast of Vietnam. Again in 1989, another storm blacked out Quebec in Canada. In 2012, the Carrington event had its second phase. Earth was able to sidestep the plasma ejection at the very last moment. Scientists think that next time a hurricane or storm hits, the different cities will be in darkness. The planes will fall from the sky, and we won't have time or the bandwidth to share all of this on social media since our gadgets will be fried and the internet will be down. 
the big solar cycle. Human beings will have their lives come to a halt sooner or later. Scientists say that the long cycles of the solar minimums and maximums can send us all back to the 19th century. Unfortunately, we know very little about the sun's internal workings and even less is known about the space forces that seem to influence it from the outside. The facts are out there that the 25th solar cycle began in 2019, and there is a very high chance the next Carrington event will occur in 2030 or 2060. Solar cycle will occur in at least 150 years. Eccentricity cycle the sun most certainly revolves around the Earth, but not in the way you'd imagine. The rotating is not exactly a perfect circle, and certainly not at a constant speed. The orbit of the Earth elongates just a little every 100,000 years. This is something scientists call the eccentricity cycle. What happens is that the angle of the verse axial tilts alternates in reciprocation with a 41,000-year cycle. The axis itself has a precession cycle and traces a circle every 23,000 years. While these cycles meet, a small amount of sunlight reaches the Earth when the Ice Age starts. Imagine a mega-glacier swallowing cities such as Chicago or London and turning these regions into Arctic disasters. The result would be so many people freezing to death. Suchin Ice Apocalypse Suchin Ice Apocalypse is caused by the sun and occurs after 41,000 years. Militan Milinkovic, the man who discovered this cycle 100 years ago, was a Serbian geophysicist Given his findings, we realize that ice ages in most cases can go on for 100,000 years. It's known as the Milinkovitch cycle. Scientists are yet to understand the Suchin ice cycle, and currently it seems to have delayed due to the emission of greenhouse gases. Could that be in the next 10,000 years instead of the ice age, the human race will experience a nuclear winter? The cyclical cause of events does not occur due to new unexpected factors that get in the way of the cyclical clock. The Cycle of Life and Death on Earth in the late 18th century, one French naturalist known as George Coeur shared that he had found some elephant bones and could link them to an extinct mammoth. This caused excitement among the scientific community who believed that the old species of days gone by had left behind traces of their existence on Earth. Coeur explained that the mammoths were wiped out due to a catastrophe. In this case, he suggested superstorms and great floods, which were said to come back approximately after a thousand years and clear out the entire Earth. A few other scientists were skeptical, like Charles Darwin, who disagreed with Coeur. As per his evolution theory, he's from the school of thought that species evolve and are not replaced due to catastrophic events. Some believe that species will live for up to 5 to 10 million years. Mammoths have believed to have lived 5 million years ago, and there were such a strong species that they evolved into new species. The Neanderthals, 200,000 years ago, 40,000 years ago, they evolved into a modern species, according to scientists. Years later, we saw the rise of the Homo sapiens, apparently, whose ancestors appeared two million years ago. This is a species that is believed to have a lot of life ahead of it due to the fact that they took over the entire Earth. Back in 2021, American scientists published articles in the Geoscience Frontiers Journal. They put forward that all the extinctions on Earth follow a cycle of 27 and a half million years. The Earth indeed has a pulse, they say. When species disappear, they do so instantaneously. One beat causes a catastrophic flood. Another causes glaciation, and another causes supervolcano eruption. 70,000 years ago, the Toba supervolcano was one of the greatest pushes toward extinction. Only a few thousand people are believed to have survived. Cycle of Space Disasters We have about 20 million years before we experience the next heartbeat, apparently. Who knows what mysterious forces lie beyond that, and if this will follow a clock or not. Science and technology are still at odds in that they can't figure out floods, glaciations, earthquakes, and other disasters. One event that might lead us in the right direction is the supposed asteroid impact that could have wiped out dinosaurs from the face of the Earth. It suggests that there was a collision between space and Earth, making it a bit complex when it comes to subjecting it to any cycles. When geologists Walter and Luis Alvarez discovered the Chilo crater, it was a mysterious one whose catastrophic cycle was on a higher scale. The crater's formation was due to the impact of a giant asteroid in the Gulf of Mexico. A myriad of scientists tried very hard to understand this apocalyptic bombardment. To figure out the cycle of asteroid killers, we need to determine specific dates of all prior impacts. Finding past evidence is, however, not easy. Asteroid Cycles The ancient city of El Hammam in Jordan in 1650 BC was abandoned. Archaeologists came up with different theories upon discovering melted stones, burnt household items, and a huge pile of ash. 
No volcanoes were near, meaning that an asteroid might have instantly launched into the area and burned everyone and everything to ash. They also deduced that the asteroid did not reach the ground, but launched above them, leaving no crater. Similar to the event described by Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible as the fire burnt down entire territories. Over time, and with erosion and natural processes, all the traces can fade out. After many years of research, most scientists only list a few major disasters. Over the past supposed two billion years, that's not a cycle. It's hard to predict the next astronomical disaster. NASA has spent many resources in space to try and see if there are any potential dangers to be caused by asteroids in the future. The search continues. Comet Cycles The Oort cloud is two light years away from the Sun and is a huge bubble of comets that's not visible to the human eye. It signals a strange cycle that keeps sending killers to the Earth. In August 2022, a team of researchers at Curtin University in Australia were keen to look at the tectonic plates both in their country and America, and they noticed a pattern. Based on the type of deposits they found, three and a half billion years ago, supposedly, a comet crashed into the Earth and plummeted into the Earth's crust, turning the ocean planet into molten lava. As per their calculations, the comet was at a speed of 60 to 70 kilometers per second. This is three times faster than the speed of the asteroid that they believe killed the dinosaurs. Based on its speed, the comet could not have come from the solar system, but from the Oort cloud. Scientists suggest that a similar lava apocalypse can only happen at intervals of 170 to 200 million years. It's believed that the solar systems, the planets and comets are en route to the Milky Way galaxy at the speed of 240 kilometers per second, and it'll take 225 million years for the full rotation around its center into the black hole, tens of thousands of light years away. Scientific experts believe that the solar system will enter a certain space where there will be increased galactic density and external gravitation perturbations. This will cause a collision, and the comets in the Oort cloud will no longer be stable in their orbits and be deflected away from the Earth. The same force that led to the continents splitting from each other will cause cataclysms, which caused unrelenting climatic conditions as well as extinctions. It seems we have the missing link in the Earth's catastrophic cycles. The Australian geologists make a great case that the last time we passed through the galactic arm was 66 million years ago. Could be the next killer comet will come in 130 million years' time. There's no certainty since the impacts occur during periods when the solar system is far away from the dense area. Astronomers don't know how many galactic arms there are or their arrangement. We might need the whole world's nuclear arsenal to deflect the comet from coming the Earth's way. Well, let's be honest, anything that's millions of years away isn't going to affect us anyway. The question remains, what will happen if humans can figure out these destructive cycles? One Austrian published a groundbreaking paper in 2007. He pointed out major world wars from the 15th century to the present and the unstable world economic times such as the Great Depression. This points to another internal clock where this war and economic events happen. They suggest a cycle. From the Second World War, the most recent major war was to be when Russia invaded Ukraine. In the paper, he points out that this is a prelude to World War III. Question, do you believe in these very mysterious cycles that we have a human-made nuclear winter that might come up soon? What other world catastrophe do you think might lead to global extinction?